Dear brothers and sisters of planet Earth, I am Kalyle, Pleiadian ship commander Much Joy. Much Joy. I only bring joy here today. Joy to be able, once again, to have a voice for you. We can say that the party is all ready, the guests are many, there are millions, they are all of you. Unfortunately we won't be able to release balloons, because it wouldn't be good for Gaia, but we would like to release many balloons to show our joy. We can say that we are cleaning our ships, cleaning everything, preparing for the big day. It's not that we're messy, nor do we keep our ships a little disorganized. But let you understand how pleasant it is, being sure of the big day. There are millions of us around your planet. It would be very wonderful if we could all, at once, in one moment, land on the surface of your planet. At first it would be strange, firstly due to the energy of the dimension itself. It wouldn't be very easy for some of us. But I can tell you that it would be a very interesting experience for everyone. But that's not what will happen. We will not impose our presence all at once, it would cause unnecessary panic at this time. Let's say that firsthand, we will show you our ships, and it won't be the motherships, it will be our smaller ships. The motherships will appear in your skies, when the vibration of the planet begins to effectively rise into the fourth dimension in the highest range, then we will be able to maintain our ships without any harm in their skies. The appearance of our ships in this dimension, in the third dimension, is not something easy for us. It takes a lot of energy a lot of programming of our minds, so that we can maintain ourselves in this dimension. However, some of us have been prepared for some time, and we will be able to come down to your planet and show ourselves in physical form, so that you know who you are actually talking to. We have observed to make yourself known, you place small plagues on your chest, so the other person knows who you are talking to. So I've already ordered a plaque to be made with my name, Kalyle, so that you know that it's me, otherwise you'll confuse me with the others, you won't know who I am. I have already prepared the formal outfit, a very beautiful outfit, an outfit that allows me to present myself correctly to your rulers and show all our love, because that is what we want to demonstrate. The fact that we set foot on the surface of your planet is not intimidation, it is not superiority, it is not an invasion. It is the purest proof of love and trust that we are giving you. Of course we will be very careful when doing this. Because everything is also being prepared, to ruin this great moment, to show the great mass of the planet that we are not benign. But we already know this and we have full control of the possible reactions that could happen on your planet. We will not descend without warning. We won't go down without you being prepared, we're not that naive. Things will be done gradually, first the appearance. After all the buzz caused on your planet has passed, then we will begin the approach. And some of you who already have direct contact with us will be invited to be with us directly, to see our ships. And then at this moment, we will be sure of your trust in us, because a lot will be said, a lot will be fought, that we are here to kill you, to invade, to annihilate the planet to end the human race. Yes, if we wanted to do this, we would have done it more than 20 years ago, when it all actually started. And we are here, ready for a peaceful and loving approach. To bring you our knowledge, our technology, our support for humanity. Don't think we got here just to make up numbers. We have already fought a lot, we have destroyed a lot but our victory was already certain and it has already happened. So now we are moving on to phase 2, which is the phase of total cleaning of the surface of your planet. From what? From those who were always against it all, from those who enslaved you, from those who manipulated you. Then each one will be removed from their location, wherever they are. Many are cowering, sheltering underground, thinking we don't know they are there. They will be the first to be removed, and none will be left, because we know exactly where they are. And all this cleaning will be documented, it will be filmed, to then be transmitted to all humanity. 
We still don't know whether we will do it live or later, but this is a decision that is not up to me, it is up to the commanders. We obey orders, what we are told to do, we will do. We are very happy, our hearts are shining brighter than ever, with anticipation for the big day. We know that everything will not be wonderful, we will have problems, but we are ready to deal with any type of reprisal. And as already said here by our great commander Ashta Sharon, our one priority is you. So at no point will we expose you to anything. We would never do that. So, in the same way that we will be landing on your planet, we will be observing from the skies, all the movement around. We think about your safety, because ours, we know what we are doing. Humanity is about to take a very important step, recognizing that it is not alone in the universe, recognizing that there are brothers throughout the universe. And that a large majority of them are here in your skies protecting you, helping you. The path of ascension is open, clean, flowery. And we want to take you there faster and faster, with our help, whatever is possible, whatever is permitted. Once again, I want to say that the joy in our hearts is immense. And we can also feel the same joy in some hearts. Unfortunately for many, a physical meeting will not be possible, due to the distance from where we will be to where you live. But rest assured, we will contact each one of you, who have us in your hearts, with the highest respect. Love will come with time. We understand that this feeling is created, developed and nurtured over time. So first let's talk about friendship. We want to build a solid and deep friendship with you, and as time goes by, as we get to know each other better, then we can say that love begins to blossom, and a great bond, a great connection will be created between us. Our home, our planet, will always have its doors open to welcome you. It doesn't matter who you are, because we love humanity as a whole, not as one, as another, as a representative, we love everyone. Because we learn to emanate this feeling unconditionally, but we know that for you, it takes a little walk, between friendship, knowledge, coexistence, and then love emerges, and everything is fine. At this point, we only expect respect. If you already respect us, no matter what we are like, this is already a big step for humanity. We won't just feature those who are humanoid, everyone will present themselves, without exception. So, we just ask once again, respect. Because we may not have the same body, the same physique, the same shape as you, but we have consciousness and soul, exactly and like you. And it is exactly because we have conscience and soul that we are here, helping the human race on this beautiful planet. And we want, and we know that we will have, in the future, for this planet to become a beautiful tourist resort for the universe, with its wonders, its beauty and its people, known by the universe as the most warrior, the strongest people, the most courageous people, in this universe. And who chose to ascend together with his planet, to show that nothing is impossible, just believe.